Hello everyone, this is RaySpace. I'm in Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 to take a look at the recently released Freeware Grumman Duck. This is a Grumman J2F Duck by Fly and Dive, and it is remarkably, remarkably good quality. For Freeware, this is quite excellent. And it's a unique plane with its center-mounted float, the fact that it's amphibious, and it, the interior is pretty good too, as you can see. I mean, this is of about the same quality as the Reno Air Races planes, for instance. And I don't know if everything is working out right, but it's got a functional rudder trim there, tailwheel lock. Uh, it's got a wobble pump for the startup. It's got the, well, of course, the landing gear. That whatever knob is over there doesn't look quite work, but the, that's a fuel selector. Hopefully that works. I'm not going to mess with it right now or the engine could die. But yeah, this is pretty good for freeware, and I'm going to fly it and check it out. So let's see how it goes. We are here at Meg's Field, which they kindly decided to add to the game. I definitely need that rudder trim a bit. But it takes off really quickly, as you can see. And here we're taking off from the ground and retracting the landing gear. That takes a bit. Now, the plane does go reasonably fast. I think its top speed is 175 knots. So that's pretty good for a bi biplane like this. And it doesn't need too much rudder trim, really. Right now, at this speed, it only has a little leftward tendency. I don't have my hand on the stick right now. So it's not a whole lot that needs to happen as far as rudder trim, except on takeoff. Takeoff, it'll need it. But once it gets up to speed, it probably doesn't. The speedometer sort of has wobblies, which is sort of a high class thing. when the needles wobble like that. It says a paint kit is planned. There are three liveries for it. So that could be helpful. So here over Chicago. It's not super maneuverable as you might expect. But it's a biplane, so it's pretty good. <laughs> I mean, it's not super maneuverable, but it's sort of nice to fly biplanes. It feels a bit stiff, as like a lot of planes in Flight Sim do, but it does have sort of a wobble to it. So it's a little bit better than some planes, which feel too much like they're controlled by a fly-by-wire system or something. It's got a 9-cylinder right cyclone engine, 900 horsepower, and 170 knot maximum speed, cruise speed 135 knots. Still not bad for a biplane, and its range is listed in Wikipedia as 680 nautical miles. I did have uh, one thing here. That interested me. Tail hook extend and retract. That's interesting. There was something else here. Supercharger, which is unexpected. Fire extinguisher, even. Uh, oh, this one. Now, I don't know if that would work. I don't know what key I would press to figure that out. It's sort of a nice, classy plane. Very versatile. Nice flying it around a big city, and maybe we, I should have like a filter right now. Ah, yeah, there we go. We've got a nice, somewhat sepia filter. Now, it really, we could probably up that a bit, but this is a lot better. Makes it look a little bit classic. Like a 1950s sort of movie about. Aviation. Chicago not looking bad at all either. A 
but I feel like I should try to sit down in the water and take off again. The propeller pitch seems to work. Okay, 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 weak, softer, softer, okay, okay. Okay, turn, turn, woo, 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 okay. Well, the thing about it is, um, it's got the big central float, but it does tend to tilt because the wing floats are at a different level. So, just a little tilt in here. But, that's how it looks in the water. And uh, let me take off again. Pretty good. Doesn't need a long takeoff run in the water either. So flying by Meg's field here. And I'll try and land at it with the regular landing gear. I mean it is a little bit weird the way the landing gear is when you think about it. It's a very narrow landing gear. Really nice job on that stadium. Yep, but it just seems really high quality. Like, get it before it turns into payware. Sometimes the freeware gets turned into payware, so... Yep. Landing gear sound. Probably faster than I should be extending it, but... So just perusing the stuff in the cockpit leads me to believe that I haven't really plumbed the depths of all of its features or anything. Just a quick flight with it. Okay. Oh no, I'm gonna abort this. Go up, go up, go up. I think I can land at a much lower speed than I was expecting a slightly higher speed. So I'm gonna go around. Sure has a hefty look and somewhat of a hefty feel to it. Especially now that I have the gear down. I should fly around Chicago more often. It really looks good right now. I'm sure it's not perfectly accurate and everything, but still. Possibly it might be necessary to use track IR with this one. Point of view otherwise is a little bit hard when it comes to landing. Okay, it feels like it will stall at around 60 something. Oh, oh, uh, oh it's stalling. Ah. Oh, 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 I'm going off. Okay. No. Oh, I died. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit hard to land with. It's probably better if you land in the water. It's definitely easier to land in the water. Okay, up we go. Just the visibility from the cockpit leaves a lot to be desired when the cockpit is set so far behind. It's nice to know that you don't have to land 
very particularly when it comes to the water. I think I'll try to approach with more speed than last time. Okay, I need to land now. Oh, I hopped. Oh, not too much hopping though. Oh boy, it can tilt with because of the tight wheelbase. It can tilt. The, it can also do a good job of taxiing, I think. Yeah. Let's see. So, it just takes a little bit of practice. You turn this way. It's not easy to turn on the ground, but it's doable. So, well, there you have it. The Grumman J2F Duck. Very nifty for a freeware plane. So, as I park totally safely here, I'm surprised there aren't more planes around here. In Meg's field. Oop. All right. So, thanks to Fly and Dive for the plane. I'll put a link in the video description. And with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.